Welcome to episode 136 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. If you're watching, you can see that I'm not in my office. And today we're gonna talk about how to start. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So this thing right here, if you don't know, is called a palm quarter. It is a camera that's got a little screen here and you can shoot video with it. Actually, I'm gonna turn it on. Can you shoot video with it? I think the battery's dead. So this camera right here is a palm quarter and this is the very, very first camera I ever made media on for my business, which is now congruent an agency. Before that was called Image Auto, was an auto reconditioning company. And we bought this camera so that we could make content and sell franchises, which we never actually ended up doing. The topic of today's podcast is to start. Not to start something, but to start. Not to start when it's perfect, but to start. Right now, I'm standing on set. I don't know if you can see in the back. I don't know, back here in this area. We've actually got this road closed off and we are shooting a really beautiful commercial for an auto group in Delaware. Now, how did we get from this palm quarter to a full crew, roads closed, lots of equipment for a client that doesn't even exist in this state? Well, I'll tell you how. I started. I didn't start when it was perfect. I started, obviously. This camera is not perfect. This camera is represents low quality amateur nature not knowing what the heck you're doing but it represents to me starting and i still have it i think i'm going to put it on the shelf behind my office i have something else i want to show you too i brought this and i don't know if you've seen me at conferences or around um, i carry this with me pretty frequently and this is just a notebook where i have thoughts ideas this thing has been with me a long time and strangely enough although i carry it everywhere i'm oddly selective about what i put in here However, I wanted to share a couple of things because this book to me also represents starting. You can see in here, I'm gonna hold it up to the camera now, when you jot down notes, you see some very early drawings of the clarity flag and some of my plans and why I think it's important to focus in on the concept of clarity. And I wanna to read to you an excerpt of when I began to conceptualize what it would be like to have a podcast and what the podcast should be about. Here's what it says, the reinvention podcast. That's right, not the Clarity Compressed podcast, but the Reinvention podcast. Because what happened was, I wrote this down, and then I started recording episodes of a podcast that I actually never even released because it wasn't the right podcast to release at the time. Actually, what it was, was the wrong podcast. However, what made it the right podcast was the fact that I started. So I'm gonna read this to you as they're filming here right next to me and driving this Audi down the street. It says, I wanna create content that gives and adds significant and unique value to all of our business units. That's again, I had Image Auto, I had Rim Doctor, I had Congruent. It said, I don't want it to be a distraction and do want to leverage my stronger talents of relationship building, access, and communication. That's where it started. So all that to say, what I started ended up not being what you're watching right now. And here we are 136 episodes later because I started. And starting is hard for me, believe it or not. I mean, I am, kind of easily excitable by nature and I do like new things, but I'm the kind of person that likes to wait until it's all thought out or wait until it's perfect before I start. And that's really dangerous because the plane never gets on the ground because it's a lot easier to make adjustments in line while you're flying when the plane's already and the friction is moving. It's the same principle with a car. It's a lot easier to turn the wheels and steer when the vehicle is already moving. So the principle of starting seemed really appropriate for today since I started with this, and I conceptualized in this, and here we are right now filming this. Now, I'm not even at the end, we're just at the beginning, we're just getting some momentum, here goes the camera truck. Starting is something that is tough for so many. The other side of it is starting can be too easy in the sense that you just start without a plan. That's why writing down what you wanna do and then just getting after it is what has led to success thus far for me. There have been a zillion failures along the way because when you just start, guaranteed, when you start, you're going to fail. When you start and you make decisions and you put a line in the sand, guess what? People are going to begin to push back against it and the forces of the economy are gonna push back against it and economics and clients and competition. 
they all start to push back against you when you start in a way that they never did when you were stationary because when you're stationary, there's no friction, there's no motion, there's no threat to anyone else. So when you start, that's gonna happen. If you're a company that's launching a new product, once you start is when the friction begins. It even works in relationships. Say you, you want a relationship, your desire is you find that special guy or your gal and you get out there, but you never actually start a conversation. You never actually start going anywhere. Guess what? You will never start having a relationship. And surely, all of us, we get into the, the, the world where we're starting to build relationship or even romantic relationship with the, the significant other, and what happens is we find the wrong one. We find the ones that don't work. We find the ones that aren't compatible. We find the friction. We find the tension. And maybe even after we find that special someone, like for me, once I got married, well, that was another start. I made a commitment. We started moving. And then I started learning a whole bunch of things about myself that actually needed to change and actually needed to be different if I was going to have a long-standing, sustainable relationship. Here I am at 41 years old, been married for 17 years. Guess what? And I feel like I'm still starting. I'm still starting to learn what it is to care for my wife in this day and age. And I realize how difficult that is because I'm a selfish person and I want to do things my way. And guess what? I have to continue to commit to start. Start again. Start over. Start something different in order to love my wife and care for her in the way that she deserves. Starting equals friction equals failure equals starting again equals friction equals failure. But that is how we progress through life and that is how we grow. That is how we move from the concepts to creating to a crew shooting videos for clients, which again, it's not about ending here. It's about moving to the next level and providing opportunity for the people that have committed to me and my team to move forward in their career so that they can thrive and they can keep going and they can keep moving. My personal life is about committing to my family and committing to starting and keeping going so that we can thrive and we can grow and we can continue to move on so that my kids will have opportunity that I never had. All of that, rewind, all of that comes by starting. So may you start today whatever it is that you see as the future for yourself that you want. May you take a step, may you write down what you want to do and just take the next action. I hope that you start. I'll talk to you next time. You just gotta love some. You just gotta love some. It's fancy wheel work you got there. Oh, thanks. Yeah, did you hear me grinding the gear up there? <laughs> <laughs>